Midriff, Wikipedia article audio. In fashion, midriff is the human abdomen. The midriff is exposed when wearing a crop top or some forms of swimwear. The kolis worn by Indian women exposes a thin section of midriff, usually 4 to 5 inches. Etymology Culture and History Western Culture 1930s 1970s 1980s 1990s 2010s In U.S. schools Indian culture Midriff is an old term in the English language, coming into use before 1000 AD. In Old English it was written as midriff, with the old word hrif literally meaning stomach, in Middle English it was mydryf. The word fell into obsolescence after the 18th century. The word was revived in 1941 by the fashion industry partly to avoid use of the word belly which genteel women considered undesirable in reference to their bodies, as it has connotations of obesity. In some cultures, exposure of the midriff is socially discouraged or even banned, and the Western culture has historically been hesitant in the use of midriff-bearing styles. Bill Blass commented, It is too difficult. Women will much more readily wear bareback or plunging neckline styles. It was introduced to fashion in 1932 by Madeleine Vianney when she offered an evening gown with strategically cut openings at the waist. Women's swimwear of the 1930s and 1940s incorporated increasing degrees of midriff exposure. Teen magazines of late 1940s and 1950s featured similar designs of midriff-bearing suits and tops. However, midriff fashion was stated as only for beaches and informal events and considered indecent to be worn in public. However, exposure of the female midriff and navel was widely brought into everyday Western women's fashion in the 1960s sexual revolution and later with the popularity of halters, tube tops and crop tops in the 1970s. The cheerleading style fashions developing largely from the styles originating with the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders in the early 1970s also played a crucial role for the popularity of midriff fashion at middle and high schools. During the 1980s, pop star Madonna appeared in bare midriff looks in her performances and music videos, which helped in spreading this fashion widely. The popularity of the bare midriff continued well due to low-rise fashion which started in the early 1990s when the British magazine The Face in its March 1993 issue cover featured Kate Moss in low-rise jeans. At the same time, the wide acceptance of naval display in Western societies, naval piercing and naval tattoos have become more common among young women. This raised the popularity of crop tops that expose the midriff and navel. During the 1990s, many designers adapted to the trend. One way of showing the midriff that has proved popular with designers is simply fastening a jacket or vest at the neckline and letting it fall freely. When the wearer moves there is a flash of skin, but nothing startling. Fashion designer Carolina Herrera told, the midriff doesn't have to be completely bare, a veil of chiffon over the midriff can look intriguing. The bare midriff, with flat, toned ABS, became the trend in Hollywood in the 2010s. In the spring-summer 2015 haute couture show by Chanel in Paris, midriff-bearing tops were a main focus. During the late 1940s, School dress codes in the United States banned bare midriffs. Even today, many American secondary schools have dress codes dating back to the 1970s against attire that leaves the midriff exposed. 
An example of a test that some schools apply is to have the student raise her arms if it is suspected that her shirt will expose her midriff. Although more tolerated with younger girls, older female students, especially those over 18 years of age, can be disciplined for exposing their navels on school campuses. As an example, the dress code of the Sherman Independent School District in Texas requires that there must be no exposure of the midriff area or undergarments. The midriff area must not be seen while bending over, while standing, raising arms, and stretching. In 2002, East Valley High School in Spokane Valley, Washington specified guidelines about inappropriate clothing in the school's student planner and handbook which includes clothing that reveals the midriff. In 2004, the Board of Education of Meriden, Connecticut, brought a dress code that banned shirts, blouses that expose the top of the shoulders, halter tops, spaghetti tops, and any clothing that exposed the waist, midriff or hips. Indian women have traditionally worn saris that bear the midriff, especially South Indian women. The gap on the midriff between sari and the koli presented the elegance of a woman's graceful sway of her gait. A possible cultural justification is that in ancient Indian tradition, the navel of the god Vishnu the protector is considered to be the center of the universe and the source of life. From his navel a new world of the future emerges. This has been depicted in many ancient Indian sculptures as a lotus emerging from the navel on which god Brahma the creator is seated. Due to this the midriff is set to be left bare in a sari. Another reason could be the hot tropical climate of India. Ratha Vinaja, Director General of the Fashion Design Council of India told, the bare midriff keeps you cool. The sari adapts to a woman's body, rather than defining it, allowing for pregnancy and otherwise expanding girth. And in a culture where having enough to eat is not a given, rolls of fat around the midriff are a sign of prestige, rather than indulgence. Dr. Torsker, a pediatrician from India who works in Toledo, Ohio, once told, it may be hard for American women to imagine going to work with an exposed midriff, but for Indian women, the midriff is considered no more suggestive than the forearm. Other Indian communities that take midriff in their stride include the women from Rajasthan who leave the midriff exposed while wearing gagrakolis. However, these women often cover their heads with a dupata and even cover their faces in front of strangers, which enforces the belief that midriff bearing in India has a symbolic, almost mystical, association with birth and life and that the display is meant to emphasize the centrality of nature in the nurture role. In spite of it, some Indian philosophers gave opposition to exposing midriff in saris. They considered it to be a symbol of adultery. The only ornament accepted by the Hindu culture that can be worn in the midriff region are the waist chains. They are considered to be a part of bridal jewelry. Due to modern fashion trends, along with saris, the midriff revealing gakrakolis are also popular. Designer Manish Malhotra's Fashion Week collections regularly highlight low waisted gakras accompanied by short kolis. Such gakrakolis are more commonly worn by the Bollywood celebrities in films as well as in real life. For example, actress Malika Aurora Khan featured in Midriff revealing a Grakoli without Dupata for the hit songs Chaya Chaya in Dil S.C. and Money Bad Nam in Dabang. Actress Priyanka Chopra featured in a low-rise Gagrakoli designed by designer Ritu Kumar on the opening show of the HDIL India Couture Week 2008 held in Mumbai. At the Blenders Pride Fashion Tour 2011, she featured in a low-rise Gagrakoli designed by Nita Lula. Recently, 
Actress Amisha Patel walked the ramp in a low-rise green gagrakoli designed by Rocky S. at Aambi Valley City, India Bridal Week 2011.